Hi everyone, it's Josh here from Firmax Australia. Today demonstrating our brand new home automation system, Dobus. What we're going to do is show you from start to finish uh, configuring a home automation system to show you how easy it is. It really is just that easy. So on my right here, we've got the main components, the hardware components. We've got our NXT server, which are the brains of the system, connected via Ethernet onto our network. Uh, we've got a relay extension module, which is some dry relay contacts out. We've got another relay module here with an extension module that gives us 12 relay outputs and a universal dimming module that has four outputs on it. Then we've also got our light switches. And in this case, we've got three two gang light switches. And what you notice is Dobbus actually doesn't matter which light switch or light switch design or manufacturer you go with. The main uh, purpose or uh, the main consideration is that it's a push button mech, a momentary uh, push button mechanism. And the way it's wired, it's very easy. Just all the light switches wired to one of these modules here, which we provide. And it's then daisy chained back to the relay module, in this case, um, all via a cat cable over blue, blue, white. Very easy. Daisy chained. Two wires, very easy to wire. Very simple, very quick. And then once everything's wired, powered on, uh, we open up the website, which we go to is dobus.local. Okay, you're presented with a login screen and the default username and password is dobus and dobus. And that will log into our NXT server for the first time. And once logged in, you'll be presented with a warning uh, icon saying change your default password. So let's do that. Okay. So our username is Dobbus. We'll put an email address in. And our password. We'll just set like that and we'll save it. So now when we f refresh the screen, that warning dialog box is disappeared. Okay, so we've changed the default password. The next step would be going into the modules tab and we have to learn our modules into the system. Even though they're powered on and they're connected via the CAN bus cable, um, that are actually learned into the server. So to do that, we have to address the devices. So we click on this green icon here, and you'll see it will actually show you whereabouts to press on the specific modules for them in, to be learned into the system. So on the relay module, it's up here. So we'll push that button and wait for the relay to appear. And then on the dimmer, it's this button here, so we need a screwdriver in this case. And we'll push that button there. And there the dimmer module is, is uh, present on the, um, on the website. So we'll stop addressing. So we have our relay module and our dimmer module. And also on the bottom left, you'll see here, this is where um, the specific configurations and firmware is sent to the NXT server. Every so often, or every time you change a configuration, it has to be dumped to the specific device. So if the communication is lost, for whatever reason, the information is still stored in the module itself. You'll also, if it's your first time connecting, um, you'll see here, this is the version number of the firmware of the particular devices itself. And this is the current version of the latest version of the firm firmware. So in our example, both are 107, so both these devices are actually upgraded to the latest firmware. But if we were to upgrade the firmware, just in case, because more than likely if you're setting it up for the first time, you won't have the latest firmware for your device. You just click on that button and click on OK. And you'll see here it's exporting firmware to the relay. And it will go through its process of sending the latest firmware to the particular relay module. So we'll just wait for that to complete. 
for our relay module and dimmer module. And then after we've finished, the next um, tab we're going to press on is the button tab. We're going to load and learn the buttons into this system itself. So we'll press play to speed that up. And it's exporting accordingly. Okay, export finished, great. So we go to our button tab. And here we learn our buttons. So there's three modules, our master module, which is our NXT, our module one, which is our relay module, and our demo module, which is module two. In this instance, we've connected our buttons into module one. Okay, so if we expand that, and we go start scanning, the way we load the addresses into um, our system is we actually just push the button. It's very simple. We'll just push the button, push the button one, push the button two. Okay. And as we go, we can also label them. So let's go, I'll call it classic top, classic bottom. As a top, bottom. Uh, this one, I don't know, might call conic top. Conic bottom. And the last two. Yep. This one was going to be Zen bottom. Zen top. Yeah. You can label these however you want. So you might want to kind of label this entrance number one and entrance two. You can rename them as many times as you like. Okay, so there's our, all our buttons learnt in, very easy, very simple, into the system. The next step you might want to go into is the out in tab. And in this tab, we, we're going to label our outputs to make them a bit more user friendly so we know which ones we're working with. So in our module two, which is our demo module, we've got two relays connected, and we can see that by toggling the relay on and off. You'll see the light turn on and off accordingly. So here we might call it um, bedroom lights one, bedroom lights two. Um, in our relay module one, we've got one relay connected which we can toggle on and off. So we'll call that hallway, hallway lights. And then in our master module, we've got one relay for an LED strip over there, which we'll call hallway LED strip. Oops. Strip light. And we've also got a zero to 10 dimmer, which is the other LED strip light. So we'll call that uh, kitchen maybe. LED strip. Light. Okay. So we we'll label all our devices. We can even, uh, I suppose, create groups and group our devices to make it a little bit more user friendly and organized. Uh, but in this case, because we've got such few lights, we're just going to go to the next tab, which is scenarios. And we're going to create three scenarios all on, all off, and group a specific lights uh, to show you like a two-way or a three-way switch. So the first one we're going to do is an all on. So this is going to turn all our lights on. So we'll go through and select all our lights that have been named. I think that's all of them. Yes. And we're going to put them in the all on action. So there's an all on action, there's an all off, and there's a toggle. Toggle being whichever way you press it, depending on the state of the light, it will inverse it. In this case, we're just going to go all on. So it doesn't matter what state the lights are on, whenever we push this button, it's going to turn them all on. Um, the next scenario we're going to do is we're going to do all off. Okay. And we're going to go through and select our lights again. That's all our lights. Yes. I want to go to the all off and add them to the all off function. 
okay there are lights and they're all off and the last scenario as I said was um, like a two or three way switch we're just we're going to do uh, bedroom lights and we're going to go to uh, bedroom lights one and two and add them to the toggle so depending on the state of the lights it's going to inverse it when you push that button okay so we've got our three scenarios there all on all off and bedroom lights and now we're going to start assigning these scenarios or outputs to our buttons okay so entrance number one which was up here we're going to make that all on so if you have the option for a, a short push or a long push we're just going to make it a short push I'm going to turn it all on and we want it to happen instantaneously and we'll save it for the bottom button we're going to make this all off and what we're going to do we're going to do a delay maybe a two second delay allow us to leave uh, the house before all the lights turn off okay um, the top button here we might just uh, just to show you if you just want to turn one light on uh, we'll just put that one on there save uh, the bottom one I will skip for now um, the top one up here I'll show you a dimming light so um, oh, we're going to do scenarios we're going to do the bedroom lights that's right so that will group the bedroom lights and we can also if you add an individual bedroom light if it's dimmable it'll autom automatically add the dimming functions so you'll see a short press will toggle one of the bedroom lights on and a long press will actually dim that specific light itself here we'll do the other way of a two-way switch very easy it's just about selection pressing ok save it in, into the configuration um, and away you go um, and then once you're happy it will update it into the system itself um, and it's exporting the button information into the specific modules now when we refresh it you'll see here are our configurations all on all off uh, this is turning the LED strip light on bedroom lights on bedroom lights on which is I suppose toggling showing you a two-way switch and then the bottom one here is um, showing turning a light on and the dimming function so let's give it a go all on by that button push this one then after a couple seconds all the lights will turn off in the house as you're leaving uh, the top one here was uh, turning one of the strip lights on which is off that's turning all the bedroom lights on so that's that scenario and uh, then we can up here was the second part of that switch so you turn it off it, it's a toggle so that's showing you like a two-way or a three-way switch and the bottom here was showing you bedroom lights on and then if we push and hold it will dim accordingly so we can dim the lights so we're dimming the lights there and you'll see for example we left the bedroom lights on we're stepping outside and we're about to leave we can just push the all off and the lights will turn off very easy to configure and also modify so for example let's say you don't want that top button to be bedroom lights on anymore you want it to be I don't know all off so we can just select all off press save and we can update it and now it will update the configuration in that button so this button now is all off so we'll just send that information to the module that's the beauty of I suppose wiring it as such in a home automation system just daisy chain two wires very easy we can 
modify and change the system accordingly. Very easy to do. So now this button here, if we show you once we refresh the screen, is all off. So if we turn turn them all on and we push this button here now, that's our all off feature. And if you notice, it's a different all off feature because it doesn't have the two second delay like the entrance two button over here. So there you go. I mean, this is a basic simple setup that we've configured in, uh, I would say less than 10 minutes from start to finish addressing the modules, programming the buttons, setting some scenarios, assigning them to buttons. And then that's just the tip of the iceberg with this system. This system can actually take it to the next level, integrating with Sonos or Bose, integrating with the Firmax video intercom system, um, having app control, so reviewing and controlling your system on your smartphone as well. Um, there's way more features in terms of automation, logic control, temperatures, sensors, uh, notifications. Um, but in its basic form, it's very easy to do, very easy to configure, start to finish in 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, there you go, a brand new home automation system Dobbus from Firmax. It's bye for now. Josh, see you later. Bye.